Really nice views today, despite the weather. We've just got a bit of a dry spell. It's been raining all morning, just past midday. And I think we're gonna have a bit better weather now, hopefully. It's not cold, really quite mild. It's quite lovely, pleasant day. I'm glad it stopped raining. Look at these views. This plaque commemorates the birth of Henry VII in this castle on the 28th of January, 1457. Wow, what's your idea? Wow. Let's have a peek through here. I like these little windows. Do you like these, dog? Watch the steps. Wait till you see the common. I like these medieval chairs next to these fires where people would have kept warm. Tudor. Birth of a king. This is where Henry VII was born. Ah. Oh. Oh, Anne Boleyn? Yeah. The young Henry VIII inherited the castle and made his unfortunate queen Anne Boleyn until he executed her. It's brilliant. What do you all think to it, Ollie? I really don't like these steps. I'm getting old now. Need to give him a polish. Just gonna have a spy through this window, see if we can see anything. I've got a cobweb. Let's have a look in this room before we go down a bit further. So down the steps we go. Careful down these steps. I'm glad they put this handrail on. I don't know if I'm in focus. I don't know if I'm correctly exposed. I'm just concentrating on the steps. So has it started raining again? No, we're still okay. But this is the main exhibition room. So yeah, that's the introductory video room. And then 
main exhibition room. It's a one way system. Let's have a look at here. Oh, I just love these old villages. Because it's November, there's only a few other people here, so I imagine this being quite packed in summer. So if you come off season then you know, you're going to pretty much almost have the place to yourself. The last invasion. Look at this. Oh, I love that. Wow. Look at this. This is the 1900 Boer War. It was an army that sailed to the Cape. Be were the Boers that it licked into shape. Let's have a look for here. 1946 is after the war. Wow, interesting that the the cannon is picking up the eye tracking. Looks like this guy's seen better days. Another medieval chair. So this is the fight by the guns. Oh wow, that's so cool. So this is the supper. Oh, let's read about the etiquette. So, and washing before and after a meal was essential. Love this medieval food. It's historically significant, isn't it, Ollie Bob? Yes, it is. That's Ollie's voice. Next one. So this one is Moncton Tower. Pretty cool, eh? Ah. No access. So 
so we're going left. So we're headed up here. More steps. I like steps. You shoot arrows out of these. Yeah. Wow. I know that I've seen Game of Thrones. I'm Vikings. Oh, oh, I just knocked my head on that. Oh, it didn't hurt that much though, because I've got my tweed flat cap to save my head. What? Yeah, there's still like castles in Vikings, isn't there? Look at these. Why are we not in focus? So you can just imagine being an archer, kind of looking down here. Maybe people are climbing up these walls. Like that. Oh, let's get a wider view there. Maybe they were climbing up the walls. Ooh. Look at that. Don't know why I've got my hood up. It's not raining anymore. Um, I just wanted to make a point about the lens I've been using for most of this trip, actually. And... It's the Canon 24 to 105 f4, and it's just been my go-to lens uh, because it's it's weather sealed, and using it with the Canon R6 full-frame body, just been an absolute pleasure. So I'm getting wide enough angles in this castle, which is really really cool at 24 mil. I am I am getting some vignetting, um, so. That, and I'd just maybe opened it up to about, I don't know, 28, something like that. And then it's absolutely fine. And it is a bit soft when you zoomed in to 105 as well. So that's the only other thing. But it's just so easy to be able to just zoom in on a subject and, and do that uh, Tarantino style uh, zoom that I really love as well. So, yeah, it's really enjoying using this lens. It's so versatile. It's got image stabilisation. It's 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 quite quiet as well, and it's just just absolutely lovely, lovely lens to to use really. And I've just done this vlog, and I, am I looking into the viewfinder or the lens? I don't know. I think I've been looking into the viewfinder. Mental note: look into the lens when you when you're vlogging, Michael. Right. So lens, look into the lens, not the viewfinder. But yeah, look at these views, and it's a lovely day. It's not windy at all. It, it's been raining this morning, but now this afternoon it's absolutely lovely. And one of the things that I didn't realise about the camera, the Canon R6, is the eye tracking so good it's been picking up on um, the eyes, you know, of, of the of the models in there, or whatever you call them. They're called models. What are they called? I don't know. Let's ask Vicky, she'll know. So let's go down the steps. And I'll tell you what as well, I'm really enjoying the Rode Wireless Go 2. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm using it without the lav, because you don't need to. It's got the windshield on it, and it's not too heavy. As in, it's not too heavy to you know, make your, make your clothes. What am I talking about? Vicky, what are they called, those models? Those, I was just saying the eye tracking's picking up the eyes on those models, whatever they are, what are they called? Models. Those dummies. Mannequins. mannequins, are they mannequins? I thought mannequins were what you put clothes on in a clothes shop. 
model, that's what I meant, yeah, model. I think the models. Should have studied more history at school. But it's nice to find out on the fly. Are we going up here? It's up here. No access beyond this point, so no, it's not up here. No, so we're going down here. Let's see how old Bob is. He's a beautiful boy. You enjoying the fresh air? Alright, watch this. Oh, there's no handrails. Why is it when I'm getting older, I'm like even more scared of slipping now? I'm worried about breaking me up, yeah. Breaking me up. Breaking my camera. This way. So, next one. We've been in that one. Yeah. Right. So, that's the cafe, isn't it? Yeah. Right. What is it called? The Great, the great what? Pete. Pete? Peak? Oh, peak. So this is the Great Peak. What? How do you spell it? The Great Keep. All right. So just on Moncton Tower. And now, let's have a look what this is. The Inner Gate. Right. That's Moncton Tower. I don't think they would have had signs on like that in those days. Who was this dude? I love these Tarantino zooms. Responsible for keeping accounts and carrying out repairs. We can't tap that. Is that working? Maybe not. What's in here? Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Wow. Nice lights. Right, which way? Where's the nothing down there? Just a little look. Oh, let's have a look. Not as wide as I'd like it, actually. But it's still pretty cool. And I think I'm going to get a little shot for a bit of bocca behind here. That's cool, actually, with those lights. Look at that. You know what, this is going to have to go into manual focus. Come on. So I'm going to focus in on this chair, switch it into manual. And then I think we're going to have a bit of over the shoulder. I'm still recording, testing, testing, one, two, three. Great battery on this road wireless go to. You see the cafe over there? We're not going in the cafe today, we're just going to find a pub. Get a pub lunch. Um, right, so we're just going to have a walk along the wall. Have a peep through here. Oh, that's nice because we've got some foreground. So we're going to focus in on that distance. I've got a nice shot here actually. Pull that back a bit. Try and get... Are these called turrets? I think these are called turrets. And let's get that. Let's see if we can zoom in on that bird. Oh, we're locked in on him. That's a swan. Oh no, it's a it's a seagull sat on top of a kind of boy, I think. Thought it were a swan at first. What have we got here then? Yep, let's have a look. 
let's go and explore. Love these zooms. Pow! Oh, that's a nice shot. Trying to frame that better. So this is the Great Keep. I'm not sure if I can get that. Wow. I just dug what up to that barrel. That's cool. I don't know if I can uh... So yeah, I've not got a lens which is I'm gonna be able to do this justice on me. I've only got the F4 and I just checked if the, I just put it off auto ISO, ISO just to check if I can bump it up and I can't really any higher. So it seems to be doing a good job. But this is the great keep. So we decided not to go the great keep uh, just because we've got the dog and it's not very good at going down them really. So we're just going to think about the, the dog and give that one a miss. We have a look from the outside of the Great Keep. Quite spectacular, really. So next up is the cavern. And we'll do a little reveal, I think. And then we've got the... This is not the cavern. Right. So a little Tarantino zoom. No, it's all right, you're, not, you're fine. <laughs> So Northern All and so Northern All and the Norman All, Northern and Norman. And we'll just get a different view of this. Oh. Yeah, let's drop it down. Back to F4, I think. We're back to F4. So this is cool. I think the auto ISO is doing a good job. The dog's mumbling a bit as we're going down the steps. He don't like the steps at all. I don't like the steps either. I'm grabbing onto the handrail for dear life. Oh, these steps are going on forever. This is the cavern. It's one of the reasons why they built the castle here. To use it as a cold store and they use it for defences as well. Go on in there. It's just a cabin. They use it for what? A storm? Cold store. You know, like a big fridge. For the defences, what do you mean? They use it for defence as well. So like I don't know. This is what, great cavern? This is a yeah, cavern. I don't know, some sort of cavern. So this is Wogan the Wogan Cavern. So this is the cavern, Wogan Cavern. I think it's woven, ca wogan, like terry, terry like wogan, terry like terry wogan, cavern, and they use this for coal store and defences as well. Looks like the Batman Batcave, really, to be honest. Hello, hello. Oh, I thought you could get out of here, but so we've got to do the stairs. We c we could have just done these. Oh. I could have got that on there. There's a poem here. This music in Pembroke. These oh so few precious moments in life when we get to make this music and it's just the two of us through the tiredness, the exhaustion, ex the exhaustion, the unwellness, the totally gone 
on the nightness. This gorgeous music is coming through. When I get to listen back and see the beauty that was there, more than I ever know was there all the time. You can hear it in the echo of this cavern, holding up the castle, singing voices and cooing swirling around. We meet the other visitors, delighted in this ancient place. They join us as we make this music. This music, where does it stop? Your sound, my sound, our sound, washing together all the way through, shaking these pillars of heaven, this improvisation, the movement, this dance, these oh so few precious moments in life. So this is by Elliot Barron, 2021, from the Pembroke Poetry Group. Very good. I'm just gonna go a bit deeper into this one actually. And we're not going in here. I wish I had like the Sigma with me now so we could have a 1.8. I wish I would have bought the Sigma 20 millimeter at 1.4 actually. That would have been ideal for this. But we're at F4, at least we're on a full frame camera. Ready? Please take care on even ground and low light. So we've got to, we've got to do these steps again. Oh man. Where are we going next? The dungeon. The dungeon? Oh yeah. Good old walking practice. Wow. Right. Oh baby. Oh, I realise it's not real. <laughs> it's got eye tracking, but it's getting his eye. Can you get that? Yeah. Got it. She's a lady in waiting. Lady in waiting for what? A what? The lady in waiting. A lady that I born does nothing by herself. Part of the household that travels with the earl, helping the earl's wife with her daily duties. Like dressing and stuff. Brushing her teeth as well. That's the dungeon tower. Shall I just go up? the dungeon tower. John Whitthorn prisoner in 1447. That's it. Dungeon Tower, for safety reasons, young children must be occupied by adults at all times. There's no entry at the moment. So it looks like we can't do the tower. So back down we go. It's, it's no entry at the moment. Yeah. What else is the? All right. All oh, right. In here. So this is a little nook here with the coin maker in it. So this is where the coins would have been minted. Pressed with this, is it? Underneath here. Cool. Yeah, looks like it would have 
knocked on that, banged down on that to mint the royal coins. That's where it would have worked. And that would be the tower if we could get up there. I'll just stop that down. Uh, that would be the tower. Dungeon tower. That's where you would have gone if you would have been a bad one. I think we're going to go and get some, a bite to eat now. Find a nice pub somewhere. We found a nice pub here. A, a pub that accepts dogs. So, yeah, little woof woofs like Ollie. So, yeah, great stuff. Battery's flashing, so I'm just going to change it. So we're just having a walk through Pembroke now, after we've just left the castle. And uh, it's a lovely place. called the George. The what, sorry? Oh, the Royal George, which we've just looked it up and it's pet friendly. And we're hoping that they do food as well. So we can have a sit down, have a drink. I can take some nice pictures as well of the castle.